Hi, my name's R Dub, coming to you from. Yeah! Thank, thank you, Dad. Uh, coming to you from San Diego, California, jumping in on the Pima Rev It Up live stream. I'm a Pima alumni, by the way. Uh, today, I host a nationally syndicated radio show that airs on over 200 radio stations in 17 countries. I've written two books, I've produced a feature film, and I'm currently on a mission to see all 193 countries on Earth. So my biggest passions are music, media, and travel. And Pima College has been a huge part of my life. You know, I took my very first class at Pima back in 1997. I actually attended Pima College for 20 years. Yeah, I was one of those guys. But one of the things that I love about Pima is I was able to do it on my time and my schedule. I learned so much, some amazing relationships with students and faculty. Shout out to my favorite teacher in the whole wide world, Patricia Houston. Stick around, we've got a great live stream for you. I wanna say congratulations to the Pima Foundation for developing new community partnerships and believing in the Earn to Learn program for student savers and scholars. I mean, that's awesome. Uh, big shout outs to David and Gianbari for everything you're doing in studio at the Automotive Technology and Innovation Center. We appreciate you guys so much. And now, on with the show. Welcome to Pima Community College's downtown campus in the new jewel in the Center of Excellence in Applied Technology, the Automotive Technology and Innovation Center. <laughs> we are with you here for the Rev It Up live stream. I'm David Kelly, and I'm going to be your studio host here for about the next 40 minutes. <laughs> and I'm Gambari Deborah D. Baum, Pima Arts alumni. And I can't wait to share with you the Rev It Up energy that has been captured by the PCC TV team and experienced in person at the Automotive Technology and Innovation Center. And one of the things that we want to tell you right off bat is I'd like to begin acknowledging the Rev It Up event and the live stream is held on the ancestral lands of the Thono Altham Nation and Pasquayaki Tribe, and that all of the college's facilities, in fact, are located on the ancestral lands of the indigenous people here in our region. Pima Community College is also designated as a Hispanic serving institution, meaning that at least 25% of the student populace identifies as Hispanic Latinx. We cherish the diversity of our community and equal opportunity as well as educational access for all. Okay. And it's so great to hear from Pima alumni R-Dub. Thank you, Arda, for joining us from San Diego, California. That's right, Guillaume Bari, yeah. <laughs> and thank you. Now, having a vision to realign five campuses amongst this college, as well as make believers of nearly 1,500 employees and connect its graduates to Tucson's workforce, takes an individual with tremendous fortitude, drive, and compassion for higher education formulas, as well as a passion for technologies that seem futuristic, but are needed in the now. Let's hear from the Chancellor of Pima Community College, Lee Lambert. Hi, Lee Lambert here, Chancellor of Pima Community College, and it's my honor to welcome you to Pima Foundation's Rev It Up. Rev It Up is about fueling the economic future of our community. It's about helping Pima students who want to better themselves through Earn to Learn's financial literacy and matching funds program. And it's about sharing the dynamic beauty of our campus with the Tucson community and introducing our centers of excellence. This live stream is coming to you from PCC's brand new Automotive Technology and Innovation Center. Allow me to brag on our amazing new building. It's two stories tall with almost 50,000 square feet of space. It's big enough to quadruple the number of auto tech students we can teach. Of course, they'll learn how to turn a wrench, but they'll also learn how to digitally diagnose a problem by talking to the vehicle. That's because today's cars are essentially computers on wheels and contain upwards of a hundred million lines of code. Eventually, they'll learn to service the autonomous vehicles of the future. The Automotive Technology and Innovation Center is the first building in the Applied Technology Center of Excellence at downtown campus. Our advanced manufacturing building will go online next year. There are learners will get skills for careers in advanced robotics and optics. They'll learn to operate 3D printers. 
In November at East Campus, we will cut the ribbon on our IT Cybersecurity Center of Excellence. That's where our students will get real life, real time instruction in defending our nation's data systems. We also are planning centers of excellence in hospitality leadership, public safety and security, health professions, and the arts. Together, the centers will help revitalize key sectors of our economy and will help attract more companies to locate right here in Tucson. All told, they will help Tucson transform into an economic engine, revving up growth and prosperity in Southern Arizona. Let me close by thanking our partners and friends at Pima Foundation. Board Chair Brian Hanley, President Marcy Euler, Pima Foundation's Board of Directors, and on the college side, the PCC Governing Board, faculty, staff, and administration, and our partners. And of course, Pima Foundation staff and volunteers who have made Rev it up possible. Without community partnerships and caring individuals, Pima would not be able to bring a brighter, better, and more just economic future to our amazing region. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor Lambert, for being a true community leader. We are living in an exciting time where new technologies like the Chancellor referenced are shaping our culture and style. Something we're all familiar with but may not be completely immersed in is social media. Maybe today is the day that you take to Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook and become an audience member that is interested in interacting with our social media aggregator, as well as interacting with one another. Throughout our live stream, we want our YouTube audience to be integrated as a part of this show. Pima alumni's Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook accounts are ready for you. Use hashtag RevItUp and hashtag Pima alumni to grab our attention. Speaking of grabbing our attention, that's exactly what Regina Romero did back in November of 2019 when she was elected the mayor of this great city. Let's hear a personal message from Mayor Romero. Hello, I'm Mayor Regina Romero, and I hope you're enjoying the Rev It Up live stream from the Automotive Technology and Innovation Center at PCC's downtown campus. I have remained vigilant in my support of Pima Community College and Chancellor Lambert's vision for a well-trained and skilled workforce that can and will better our community and our region. My support of the higher education space begins with the promotion of an open admissions policy, such as Pima Community College granting access to all searching for affordable education. Pima Community College and the City of Tucson have developed a tremendous partnership with benefits including tuition deferred payment and tuition reimbursement programs, specifics for those city employees enrolled in Pima Community College programs. Pima Community College has always created a bridge for our citizenry. Our bravest who fight fires, face emergency traumas, and deadly viruses are trained at our community college. Right here in the Automotive Technology and Innovation Center, auto industry powerhouses will educate their finest alongside apprentices of Pima. The newest partnership between Pima and the Catholic University of America Tucson provides one more access point for individuals seeking education in a formal degree. It is the university's first off-site flagship campus and it has selected Tucson and Pima College as its hosts. I love our city and its people. I love our community college and how it connects good people to great opportunities. I am proud of the fundraising and fundraising Pima, Pima Foundation does on behalf of our college. A sincere thank you to Pima alumni who keep our city and region strong and vibrant. Let's rev it up for Pima Community College and student success. Enjoy the rest of the show. Our thanks to Mayor Romero for being a constant friend to Pima Community College and supporting the efforts of the college and its foundation to keep our community connected. 
Connection through community partnerships is imperative. And when Pima Foundation introduced the concept of Rev It Up and the opportunity to invest in the Earn to Learn endowment, Tucson Electric Power was one of the first to say yes to a transformer partnership. TEP makes its mark in the Tucson region in a number of ways. See though firsthand how its people are making a difference as well. My name is Ryan Leone. I'm an E&I maintenance planner. I've been at TEP for five years. We're all a team and there's a lot of talented people at TEP that work together to make it happen. Every one of us has a part to play. That's us doing our part in the communities to make sure that the power is reliable so that things go smoothly for people. I mean, reliable power, it's, it's as sure as the sun rising, you know. Now, a mission of the Pima Foundation is seeing the Tucson community transformed by Pima Community College. And one of the efforts of today's hybrid event is to allow you, our audience, to become contributors to your college beyond what you may already do via your time and talent. Visit pimafoundation.org forward slash rev it up and invest in Earn to Learn, maybe one of the foundation's area of greatest need, or one of the college's centers of excellence. Now, what is a center of excellence at Pima Community College? Well, let me tell you. It's a space where characteristics drive the dream, a community hub that creates and delivers in-demand programs and trains employable students via apprenticeships and forms on leadership. Excellence at Pima is serving a high-level professional development, career guidance, and real-world experience aligned with our region's demand. Not familiar with Pima Centers of Excellence? Well, let's take a look and get a feel for what's happening at these six centers and what's in store at Pima Community College. How can we innovate? How can we get better? When you have faculty working more closely together, more regularly, you're able to upgrade uh, and improve the programs. You're, you're able to respond to industry and the community faster as well. And then when you throw in the fantastic new spaces where we can accommodate more students and try new things, then that's, you know, that's when you're golden. A delicious combination of culinary and hospitality. That fusion of the, of the two disciplines together because industry needs leaders that understand uh, all domains of hospitality and, and culinary. So the Public Safety Center of Excellence, everything that we do is centered around providing that high level quality instruction and doing it in a way that is responsive to the community. Digital arts, visual arts, performing arts, and fashion design. And we see this as a place where they can come together to promote excellence and to just move us in new directions. The Center of Excellence for IT and Cybersecurity is a nexus for our students, for the community, for, uh, for the entire city. It's a concept, it's a vision, and it's an opportunity to reach out and integrate into the community. The Center of Excellence gives us an opportunity to create a true model for 21st century education. As a PCC acting program alum and a current student learning more about digital film and animation, I'm immersed in everything PCC. And all I can tell you is, wow. <laughs> Pima offers a learning opportunity for everyone. If you want to be a part of PCC student success, consider contributing. Visit pimafoundation.org slash rev it up and click on the orange button. Now, let's take a look at Pima students across all of the centers of excellence. It's a way for us to present a new way of education in health sciences. We have such a wonderful facility here. Um, small class sizes, which is something you don't get everywhere. What I've loved about the Pima experience is, are the people. I mean, the, the instructors are phenomenal. They really 
understand their stuff. This is actually a phenomenal career that they could pursue their entire life. If you love getting your hands dirty, if you like it, you're gonna love the program. It's a little versatile, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, we've done garden to table, we've done introduction to culinary, we have pastry and bakeries. Bringing together qualified faculty, instructors who are all working in the field with the latest in technology. People who teach you who are actually doing it is super helpful because you're not just spitting uh, words from a book at you. We're using the exact same stuff that we're going to use in the field that we use here at Pima College. We really are uh, helping create the guardians or the first responders of cybersecurity. The Cyber Warfare Range is the best place for you to come in and get your hands dirty. Um, it's the best place to come learn how to do things legally and the right way so you're not caught off guard and you're not having to break any laws doing anything. We are now getting hands-on experience while in college rather than having to wait until afterwards. They're passionate. They want to get right in and they want to start working in their field or discipline. So it becomes our goal to connect them to those resources right away that they need in order to be successful. It's very gratifying to know I've really put everything that I have learned in class to use. Independent films, multimedia art installations. I also have a job here in the video department. My first thoughts when I walked in here was shock. I was most definitely shocked to see something this massive dedicated fully to automotive. And with that shock came a lot of pride and joy because seeing something like this makes you really excited to come here. It makes you really want to come to school every day. Our, our link to the high schools and industry, our faculty with our students and pulling it all together, it, I mean, it, it, it's magical. There's really no other way to put it. It is always amazing to learn from my fellow student alumni. One of the areas that I find interesting is the integration of social media into our information stream. In fact, Pima Foundation and Pima alumni post across four platforms and share campus-wide and community news daily. Today, we actually hear from you, and you've responded. Say hello to Savannah. She can see what all the positive hashtagings that you've been sending our way. We love that you're participating in this live stream. Keep it coming so we can share your experience. Revit up live stream and the seeding of the, of the Earn to Learn endowment would not be possible without community partners, partnership and partners like Affinity Wealth Management. Tanya Viacanya and her team at Affinity Wealth Management are the caretakers and managers of the endowment investments of Pima Foundation. Affinity Wealth Management knows if we do not have a well-educated, well-trained people ready for the workforce, then we're not reinvesting in ourselves as a community. And at the heart of their expertise, Affinity Wealth Management knows the hub of the Tucson community is Pima Community College and its students. Thank you, Tanya Viacanya and the team at Affinity Wealth Management for your partnership. Pima Foundation is proud to deliver non-institutional scholarships and awards to students from all over the globe. A longtime partner of the college and the foundation is the Consulate de Mexico in Tucson. Let's take a listen to a message from the Consul de Mexico, Rafael Marcelo Grasso. What a wonderful way to celebrate Pima Community College, its foundation, and the Earn to Learn program. Hello. I am Rafael Barcelo Durazo, Consul de Mexico in Tucson. All of us at the Consulado de Mexico join our Pima friends in revving it up and continue our collaboration in support of student success. Mexico and the United States, and especially Arizona and the Southwest states, have a long history of shared culture, language, and economic interdependence. Part of the mission at the Consulate is to continue to support and strengthen these close ties. P 
Pima Community College also shares these values and has been a strong partner in promoting them. Economic prosperity for all depends on workforce development, and Pima is in a unique position to help students from both sides of the border to realize their potential. Through its people and programs, PCC offers students quality education and cultural understanding. As consul, I have had the distinct honor and pleasure of seeing students of Mexican origin triumph as Pima College students and successfully launch careers in such fields as healthcare, automotive, culinary arts, public safety, the arts, certified bilingual translator and interpreters, all arenas of education. Through IMEBECAS and our relationship with Pima Foundation, we have partnered in providing over a quarter million dollars in scholarships to students who apply for and are granted these awards. As we look to the future, our plan is to continue to partner with Pima to fuel economic development for our students and our communities, and to continue to strengthen the ties that already bring us together. La comunidad hispana en Arizona continúa creciendo y fortaleciendo este país. La educación es uno de los medios más eficaces para promover nuestro desarrollo y el crecimiento personal, familiar y comunitario. Pima Community College es, sin duda, una de las mejores alternativas, por lo que nos enorgullece seguir trabajando juntos por la educación. Muchas gracias, Pima. Thank you very much, Council. And wow, in that short period of time, our social media and the use of our hashtags has really spiked. But get ready for this next piece as it's one of the primary beneficiaries of the tens of thousands of dollars raised through the energy of Rev It Up. What started at her kitchen table in 2008 is a brave new way to provide Arizonans scholarships and empower students with tools to understanding financial literacy has blossomed into a national program and the largest college matched funds organization in the country. Let's hear some more about Earn to Learn. What really excites me about Earn to Learn is that not only are we supporting students who are potentially on the four-year pathway uh, in terms of a post-secondary journey, but now we're able to support students on a two-year pathway and even more recently have expanded to support vocational training and CTE. We're also supporting students of all ages. So students coming up out of high school all the way up to students who we currently have enrolled in the program who are in their early 60s and all of the ages in between. So this program really has the ability to support so many students and families in this state. And I know as I speak on behalf of our entire team, we could not be more grateful for the ability to do this really important work in Arizona. The program itself is based on a match savings concept where students save $500 per academic year uh, there's also a financial capability training component, a college readiness training component, a workforce readiness training component, and assuming that the students are on track to attend one of our partner institutions of higher education, they get $8 for every dollar they have saved in that account. That's an 800% return on that college savings account. Uh, we've successfully served over 2,000 students since this program launched in 2013. And the first year retention rate for our program is hovering around 90%. And based on uh, the recent reporting that we've done, we're on track to see completion rates approaching 80%, if not exceeding 80%. And that is incredibly remarkable and we could not be more proud of the accomplishments of the students in this program. Hi, my name is John Adams. I'm currently enrolled with the Pima Aviation Program for Airframe and Power Plant, and um, I plan to get my certificate through them. I first heard about the Earn to Learn Scholarship from uh, the Office Administrator at Pima Community College, and um, she told me that she thinks I'd be a great candidate, so I researched it a little bit and then signed up for it, 
and I realized that it'd be really great for me. I wanted to do, have all my funds in order and have everything saved and then COVID hit and uh, unfortunately I lost my job so um, I came up on a little bit of hard time so this would really help me get through college and it'll help me get things that I need like a printer because uh, I've been having to drive to go get everything printed. It would help me get a laptop. My laptop that I use right now is really slow. The Earn to Learn program is going to be able to help me get through my college so that I can help achieve my goals and my dreams and be able to give back to the community afterwards. Finally, I just want to say thank you so much for the Earn to Learn program and all the ladies doing the wonderful things to help students like myself um, continue to further their education and continue to help Tucson grow as well. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Marcy Euler and I'm the president of Pima Foundation. And I'm thrilled to talk to you about the partnership with Pima Community College and Earn to Learn. Our students this past fall of 2021 started on their academic journey through Earn to Learn with our new partnership. And so those students have been working toward their associate's degrees, in order to meet their goals and dreams of completing their education. Just this month, in March, we were able to expand the program to include students in the Aviation Certificate Program. We hope in the future that we'll be able to expand even further to other certificate programs to help students who want to achieve a career program immediately be able to take advantage of the match savings that Earn to Learn provides to them. We are thrilled to be the first community college in the country to partner with Earn to Learn. We look forward to much success through this partnership. Organizations like Earn to Learn and Pima Foundation really set up opportunities for PCC student success. This nice group of individuals I consider success stories. I'm a part of Pima's alumni community, and here are some familiar faces who also share pride in our community's college. I think one of the most positive experiences I've had is just being a student athlete at Pima College is just the close-knit community and the friends that I've made that are kind of, you know, friends that I still keep till, still to this day um, that work in the community as, you know, pharmacists, physicians, you know, uh, even construction. Some of the teachers I've met also ran with me in community college. And it's also great to see some of the athletes that we competed against and that, that are now Olympians. But keeping that bond from the year 2001 until now has just been, you know, crucial because they became my, my closest friends. My dad worked for IBM and we moved here in 1978. My grade point average in high school was, was bad. Um, and I didn't have the confidence to think I could get into a college or get into a university. Uh, and so when I came to Pima, it improved my confidence in myself that I could do well, right? And it improved my confidence and I appreciated the, the, the education I got here and the mentoring that I got here so much so that, um, that I wanted to teach after I retired. I didn't realize I wanted to be an engineer until I finished my degree at Pima and I had the hands-on work and realized I could, I could go do more. Studying at Pima was definitely different. I started off in criminal justice and completely changed to fashion design. So I would definitely say one of the great things about coming to Pima was I was able to explore my career options and find what I really love. And so because of that, I'm super grateful that every single day I can do what I love and not call it work. I enjoy it, I have fun, and I continue to come to Pima because it's something that's accessible and affordable to me to continue taking classes, which is not something that everyone can say is that they can you know, go to school and enjoy that option. I, I didn't know what I was gonna do when I was 19. I tried the U of A, it wasn't working out for me. And I was lost, I, I had no idea what I was gonna do. And, and the day I stepped on uh, the campus in you know, August of you know, 1987, my, li my life changed completely. You know, I was able to experience success in the classroom, to find a passion for what I wanted to study. I think Pima College wins a lot of little battles that aren't you know, glamorous, that aren't out there and people don't you know, know about them. But you know, Tucson especially in Southern Arizona, 
are littered with Pima College success stories. And I believe in that story, and I am that story. I have a very vivid memory of being in fifth grade, probably almost 12 years old, and visiting Pima Community College as one of our field trips. Fifth graders take a trip to Pima and they get to spend a day in college. And you got a student ID with your little 11-year-old self photographed and, and it was really very inspiring. Pima gave me the opportunity to participate in a program called Ascend which is a STEM-related program that's funded by a space grant, and it gives college kids an opportunity to explore uh, near space research. Two of my favorite days in my tenure at Pima were the days where we took a hot air balloon up to northern Arizona, attached a payload that we built, sent it up into near space, took video and photos of the curvature of the Earth, tracked the payload across Arizona, drove over to where it landed, picked it up, watched the film, checked out the photos. It just really solidified my interest in science. I think the key word is opportunity when it comes to Pima. I think if you want to do something and you come to Pima, we have the staff to do it for you. We have the staff to help you. Uh, whether that be your math professor or your culinary arts professor, um, your coach in athletics, I think Pima has everything you need in order to be successful. And I think them giving that back to the community says it all. It's all about opportunity. Pima alumni are a large segment of the Tucson community. They are skilled innovators, skilled workers, business owners, and family-centric individuals who understand education and learning is what keeps our community progressive and vibrant. Tucson Electric Power recently held a ceremony for its Go Green Awards. Here's an inside view of Pima College receiving this treasured community honor. Every year, Tucson Electric Power and our employees look forward to the Go Green Awards, where we recognize businesses and organizations who are doing meaningful work to protect our environment and our community. This afternoon, we're at Pima Community College to recognize their leadership team as an innovative partner. We thank PCC for taking a leadership role in multiple aspects of sustainability. PCC's written purpose is transforming lives through affordable education. And from TEP's sustainability perspective, they are taking innovative steps to do just that, making a difference that touches all of our lives. If you're a student, you want to think about what's going on today, but more importantly, what's going to happen in the future. And you want to go to an institution that's focused on preparing you for that reality. And that's why Pima Community College is so key. Innovation is the hallmark of Pima Community College. To save natural resources, PCC has undertaken energy efficiency measures across its campuses and learning centers. It has installed solar panels, installed chargers for electrical vehicles, and taken other energy efficiency measures. PCC is also teaching the skills needed for the workforce that will support the electric vehicle industry. This includes programs of study for EV repair, and the installation and maintenance of both residential and commercial charging stations. But more than that, PCC is directly addressing the economic sustainability of our entire region by supporting and fueling our region's economic growth. Its centers of excellence in key areas meet the high-tech needs of our growing aerospace, defense, and healthcare industries. The model relies on state-of-the-art facilities and stronger public-private partnerships to connect the sectors with the future workforce. The top priorities for companies or businesses, it's talent. And when you start talking about talent, you're talking about your, your uh, post-secondary systems and more specifically talking about a Pima Community College and how it is positioned to meet the needs of business industry by understanding what their needs are. Pima Community College has been serving the Tucson community since 1969. Jonathan Rothschild served the Tucson community as its 41st mayor 
for two terms. His philanthropic work with the Pima Foundation is supporting the next gen of Pima students. Hi everyone. Seems like yesterday I was speaking to you as the mayor of Tucson. Today I say hello as a private citizen, practicing attorney, and strong supporter of Pima Community College and its foundation. Pima provides a variety of curricula and certificates to professional pathways. PCC truly meets its students where they are and takes them where they want and need to be. It's all about student success. I have seen the dedication Pima faculty and staff share with their students. Pima Foundation is also bringing together community leaders and helping them rediscover the college through support of PCC's AA degrees, workforce development, and programs. I am with them all the way. For our city to continue to grow and thrive, we need multiple avenues to higher education, and we have those avenues because of Pima. I know we will continue to come together and support our college through investment and contribution. So many more opportunities are possible with the additional support of independent and enterprise partners like you. Let's rev it up for PCC and keep Tucson thriving. Thank you, Jonathan Rothschild, for continuing to make a difference in the Tucson region. In fact, I met former Mayor Rothschild earlier this summer at a series of liftoff events held in the foothills of Tucson. These events brought together community leaders and neighbors in an effort to reintroduce the college and its centers of excellence and the great things happening across the five campuses of PCC. Take a look. Good evening, everyone. How's everybody doing tonight? Pima Foundation hosted several Rev It Up launch parties for industry partners and community leaders set against the backdrop of the Santa Catalinas. The goal was to raise awareness of Pima Community College's centers of excellence. I believe in what Pima Community College is doing, and I was really impressed with this center of excellence. The concept itself, and especially the one for the cybersecurity, I know that Pima Community College is a major, not only employer, but delivery for workforce development. Faculty, staff, and students were on hand to give a sneak peek at some of the programs offered at Pima's Centers of Excellence. But you never know when you're going to get that apartment fire, that residential fire. PCC Chancellor Lee Lambert was on hand to talk about the vision for the college. For me, you know, it's not about the building. It's about the overall mindset and commitment to excellence. Many in attendance were pleased at the work the college is planning and already doing. And I was so thankful and so lucky I had Pima. I love the fact that Pima Foundation wants to continue to invest in students here. It provides us a richer talent pool right here in our community. And it also can attract industry. I mean, some of your new centers are incredibly targeted and sophisticated, like the IT and security systems. I mean, that's such a growing field. And so um, we can attract industry leaders here locally and the talents that they need to employ. Guillaume Bardé and I have been so grateful to get to spend this last 40 minutes with you, providing you with the insight and excitement of the many aspects of Pima College, the Earn to Learn Endowment, and the Pima Foundation. <laughs> that is right. Thank you so much for contributing today into the future of the Community College. And we have one more night of lighting this beautiful automotive technology and innovation center. In fact, those lights might be going right now as we speak. It's not too late to come by and see it or maybe even take a tour of a Pima campus in your neighborhood. All right, well, we're gonna ask you just to keep revving it up here for Pima College as well as the Tucson region.